Hey peeps, I'm Wild Firefly and I am so excited to hang out with you today while we play another episode of The Long Dark. We need firewood so we can survive. That's what I meant to do, but I'm a little bit worried. Okay, I think what we need to do is take an emergency stim. Okay. Okay, I knew that was going to get us below freezing again, but... That it... Hold on. Wait, where'd that... F oh, there it is. I was like, where'd it go? Okay. We're going to need accelerant. Okay, so we got three hours to get some rest. Great, but our temperature's holding. So I wonder if we drink some coffee. I should drink tea before I did that. Whoops. Also, I never said, "Hey, peeps, how's it going?" So excited to hang out with you today. If you haven't already, don't forget to sub or er, uh, if you enjoy hanging out with me. Um, okay, so we can get one more hour of sleep. I should have done tea and then coffee. Oops, I'm really screwing up. Man, my focus is just not here right now. That's okay, though. Okay. We have more coffee. Can I warm up? Some more coffee. I have potable water. Come on. Yay. Did we get any? No. Dang it. Okay, well. We tried. We're just going to try to get past this area into an area that has a little bit more wood and resources. And I'm going to pick up what sticks I can on the way. Now I'm a little bit worried because I know that they're... Okay, I see a wolf over there. It's making me feel tired. Something? I would say it's the fact that you're in a cold place and you barely got three hours of sleep. Four, four hours of sleep. Broken up sleep at that. But that's kind of what you're going to have to go with until we get to a better shelter. But something is. I mean, we're losing... I wonder if it's the after effects of the adrenaline shot. I didn't realize they lasted that long. I thought after you slept you'd be okay. Maybe there's more wood up here. If that's the case, then we can... Then we can, uh... Settle down again. I mean, if we put down the sleeping bag, now that the wind stopped howling, 
We're not going to lose as much cold. But we're still going to get cold. So yeah, our best bet is to just push forward as much as possible. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, well there is wood over here. Let's go gather stuff to make another fire and see if we can't get a little bit more proper rest. We'll drink some tea beforehand. And, uh... Yeah, that's why we really don't want to use those adrenaline shots if we can help it. Thankfully, it's not too crazy cold, so we'll have time to collect a little bit of wood. Or a bit more than we had. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Okay, now we're to the crazy cold. Let's see if we can get this to work. Battery's dead. I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure how that works. I know, you're cold. Let's just collect a tiny bit more wood. Is there another big branch that we can settle near? So I'd like to, ah, there we go. I'd like to try to get a good six hours of sleeping. So if we make the, the fire near this, then we can warm up while we collect wood. Alright, let's see if you can do it without the, um, the whatchamacallit, uh, accelerate, because I believe we're running low. I might be wrong, but, or I just used the last one. Ugh, my eye is watering, and it's annoying because I'm actually wearing makeup today because I have a job interview, and... Yay! All right. Okay. Now we're going to drink that tea. Make sure we eat. Oh, not that water. We'll drink that water. Okay, wait, how many hours of fire are we gonna have? Six, perfect. It's slow going when you're in this kind of crazy crap condition. Okay, we have an hour left. We're going to add a couple hours to the fire. Because I want to get... Well, it's halfway through the day. Alright, we'll just carry those handful of sticks with us. Too much stuff to carry. I know. You'll be okay. Let's get going. We only are going to be going for about a half a day anyway. Oh, there's a bunch more wood over there. Okay, well, whatever. We we survived, barely, but we did survive. We're not doing amazing, but we are, we are managing. That's, that's what's important, right? That's all we can do. Let's get by sometimes. Okay. Yay. Leaving the forlorn muskog. So we are on our way.
back. Oh, we still have this to cross. Okay. Oh, no. Um. Okay, yeah, we are working on. I just want to make sure I was actually doing the right part of the quest. Okay, I'm confused. I thought Jeremiah's cabin was up here. Ah, it is. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I was going the right way. Oh. You'll be okay. How are we doing? Yeah, you're you're gonna be fine. We'll make the cabin, hopefully. And then once we get once we get to the cabin, I've no I just noticed something. I talk I tend to talk a lot quieter when I play this game. And I think because the game is so quiet and like the environment is so it, it's just it just fits the game. I see an elk up there. We're good on food right now. Is that an old, oh no, that's a piece of cloth. It's another piece of cloth. Is that another one? Hmm. Interesting. Oh gosh. Okay. This is the way we wanna go. Right? Yep. Wow, it's like there's a trail of cloth. I wonder if that's significant. Okay, we should be pretty, getting pretty close. Oh, wait. I think I got turned around there. I did. Mm, it's amazing how easy it is to do that. Ugh, I really need my eye to stop watering. That's why I don't always wear makeup, or I don't wear makeup too often because it's not like I poke, I didn't poke myself in the eye as far as I know or anything like that. I mean, that, that sucks when that happens. You know when that happens. Um, but yeah, my eyes just, it's only my right eye too, not my left eye. And it's not because I have allergies because it doesn't do it every time. Just once in a while, my, um, eye goes, oh, we're going to have makeup on. What? I'm not okay with this. And it's like, because I'm wearing makeup, I have to be careful about, um, cleaning it up. It's just, it's a whole thing. Guys that watch, feel blessed that you don't have to wear makeup. You're not, like, going for a job interview, I feel obligated to wear makeup. Um, that's just, that's just how things are. Um, if it were... Like, when I go to work, well, in certain jobs, there's kind of a unspoken obligation as well. And it's unfortunate. Even sometimes, like, I've gotten a little bit less concerned when I live stream with the camera, which won't be happening anytime soon, considering my cat chewed the cable of the webcam and I can't afford to replace it until I get another job. Um, but yeah, makeup sucks. That's all I'm saying. Like, don't get me wrong. There's sometimes that I like enjoy wearing it. Like I put it on and I'm like, you know, I enjoy that. But, um, but sometimes I'm just like, F this. Yay. We finally made it through this quest. <laughs> well, you look like hell, Mackenzie. Thanks. 
I love what you've done with the place. Ha! I see you're an interior design critic now. You fixed my rifle? Yep. Found one of my own, too. Damn, not bad for a pilot. I think that's a glitch. You're full of surprises. Maybe you can make it after all. Now what? I really need to get going. My friend is out there, and with all this wildlife on the loose... Whoa. Slow down. A rifle will get you out of a jam, but survival's about what you know. And right now, you don't know shit. What do you suggest? Books on tape? <laughs> ah, funny. Smart ass. No. What I suggest is Jeremiah's survival school. Student population one. Let's see if we can keep you alive long enough to graduate. <laughs> Did you see the lights in the sky again? Uh, yeah, could hardly sleep. It was so bright. There's something different about them, not like the usual aurora borealis. The lights, the aurora, seem to power things up. Lights mainly. You sure? I didn't see anything like that. You have anything electrical in here? Nope, I'm off grid for a reason. What reason is that? None of your business. Well, the wolves seem scared of the light. Scared of the aurora? No, lights, like lights around the buildings. They avoided the lights. You sure haven't been into that morphine pilot? Never mind. Sure, a lot of wolves around here. Didn't used to be that way. I told you before, something's stirring them up. Maybe a bear's not the biggest of our worries. You just stay focused on what I'm telling you. Watch out for the old bear. He's cunning as he heck. Make a wolf look like the a dang lap dog. Right. Wolves, they hate fire like most wildlife. Campfire will keep them away from you at night most of the time. Improvise a torch if you have to. Flare will work too. You know one of those emergency ones for road accidents? Sometimes if you get lucky, even a stone to the head will scare them off. And if I don't have any of those things, we then you wait until they're close and hit them with anything you can knife hammer hatchet or your damned hands and don't stop hitting until one of you is dead there's a theme here isn't there yeah this is it fight if you want to live it's more hobbs than darwin what forget it i got that reference okay uh, i heard a phone ring in an old hunting lodge where i found the extra rifle you know anything about that? Nah, but it makes sense. How so? Old phone lines don't depend on power like the new systems do. It's one of the many ways the old infrastructure is better than what we have now. Right. I'm serious. Everything is so integrated now, so linked. It's a house of cards. One system fails, they all fail. Any idea where the call would have come from? Old analog system could still work. No telling how the lines are set up. Call could be for, from anywhere on Great Bear, really. If you know what lines and switches connect to, you could probably figure it out. Where could I find that out? Those old analog lines. Bet nobody even knows they're still hooked up. You need an old phone company line map. No idea where you could find one, though. Must be archived somewhere. I'll keep it in mind. The old ways are the new ways again. I really don't have time for this right now. Look, you don't have a choice, pal. I've got this far without you, Trapper. Not with a blood-hungry bear on your butt, you haven't. Trust me, Mackenzie, you really want to find your friend. There's miles of wilderness in all directions from here. You'll never make it. I'm listening. I'll teach you what you need to know. And then, you'll have to do something for me. Kill the bear? That part goes without saying. You don't kill the bear. We, ni we neither of us get out of here alive. All right, let's talk about some survival skills. What do you want to tackle? I don't really need to know. Nothing. Okay, I know all that stuff from playing before. So... What, what what's our what's our current quest? 
Oh, we have to listen to him. Alright, we're going to run this episode just a tiny bit long. Fishing. Uh, fishing, do we really have time for this? You won't always have the means to hunt, so you need to know one, more than one way to feed yourself. Protein's scarce in the winter. Fishing might keep your dumb pilot butt from dying out there. You sure have a way with words. Head off to the camp office at the edge of Mystery Lake. You'll find the gear you need there, need for ice fishing. There's some huts on the lake. Bring back some fish and I'll know you won't die from starvation at least. Why do I feel like this is a thin thinly veiled scheme to get me to feed you for the winter? Nothing thinly veiled about it. Look at me, Mackenzie. That old bear wrecked me good. I won't hut or trap this season. If me teaching you means we both survive, what's the harm? You want to try your hand at it? I'll be back with the fish. I can smell it already. Okay. On that note, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Um, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on The Long Dark. Mm -hmm.